how can we create a forum? How can we create a festival which is all about celebrating ballet as an international language, the power of collaboration, the power of creating networks? I see the school's buzzing. Kusher with 18 schools here and We've been rehearsing non-stop and rehearsing with other schools, other students, in class with other students, so every day is something new. Four shows, three programs, a celebration of dance as a universal language which brings out the best in human beings. The students that are here were all brought based on repertory that was brought for, by the school. So mm -hmm. Juilliard brought six guys because the piece that they brought was um, choreographed for six guys. Yeah, by the way, it looked great. Oh, <laughs> thank you. It's right after Giselle, so oh, yeah. after the Giselle I watched. After the Giselle, we have some booty popping that's <laughs> yes. happening. It's really quite the, quite the experience. There was a commitment to making sure that all training classes were blended groups of students, that there was a play between visiting teachers and NBS teachers. I think it's actually incredible. I think it's, um, I've never heard of anything like the assembly. Um, it's really important, I think, to shake up your regular schedule. You spend all day with the same teachers, and though they're amazing, I think it's really important to see how people in Cuba are training and people in Paris and how the dance, the same dance style and art form is seen differently around the world. I actually just come from watching some students in class and our students in yeah. class uh, with many other schools and uh, I, I feel like I see in their body some um, inspiration. I think that they you know they've been turned on by other dancers and other teachers and other musicians and and the sort of energy and attitude of this uh, Assemblée Internationale in a way that's, that's beneficial to them. I mean, they, you really see it in their bodies. Creation and a creation of someone from their generation, from studio to stage, because I don't think there's anything more bonding than actually being part of a creative process which you work on together and you then have the courage to put in front of an audience. My hand, this hand, he had his hand I'm choreographing for the AI 13, which means that I create a piece and then the, I send my piece out in video to students from around the world. And then they get, like they receive the video, they learn the piece, and then we all come together for the assembly for a week. This is the part where I would love to see if we could achieve unison it's possible. So should we just get our answers in place and we'll worry about that transition? Well, we wanted to do something distinctive for this AI and uh, the event was so successful in 09 and we didn't want to just do exactly the same things we had done uh, that time. And I think one of the, the themes from the beginning was technology and, and what could we do using technology. And we wanted to try to transcend the disconnection of, of the use of social media today and create relationship through it and also 
convey that to the audience, to the observer. I mean, we had certainly had our lights and our and our videos, but we main we managed to maintain a, a something personal that was being you know a conversation between two people that you know expanded into this this beautiful thing and then came right back down into that intimate moment at the end. So, and that was again the the idea from the beginning between Michael and myself. Dasha, are you there? Hey Kate, how's everything going? Good, good. Uh, what time is it there in Amsterdam? It's around 10 p.m. The what movement that there? our dancers, the dancers in Amsterdam, were working with was they were uh, improvising and reflecting on the choreographed material. So they learned the material that the dancers also in Toronto knew, and they'd seen them on video doing executing the material, so they had some kind of, uh, yeah, some kind of relationship to those dancers and how they executed that movement. I didn't have to, I didn't spend any time convincing anyone to want to do it. They were right there for me every step of the way. And I think that was the highlight of that, of that last week, just seeing the, all the different ways that the dancers with these different trainings approached the material. Hands and then we'll go step together and then bow. The first day we got here, they were like, all right, let's do this phrase, and then you're going to do it here, you're going to do it here, you're going to do it here, you got it? Cool, let's run it. So it was just kind of all, it all happened really fast, but um, the students here were really, really helpful in making sure that the visiting students were comfortable. It was very fun to rehearse with the people, like, on the screen. I felt like I could reach them, but I couldn't touch them. That was very important for us. We thought it was great to use this this media as a way to show that someone can learn something from someone else and use it and develop it and then return it to them later. I think it is a great honor and experience that I'll never forget being a part of that live stream. Um, it's inspired me to like try and figure out what I can do internationally now as a dancer and try and figure out if that collaboration can happen on another level or in a different way.